It's time now for Eye on Education, brought to you by PNC Bank. A university creates a time when lives are lifted by student access and success. My own life was lifted out of scarcity because of education. That's Meng Chiang, Purdue's new president, an immigrant who landed in the U.S. from China through Hong Kong and into the U.S., recognizing the value of education as a way forward. Purdue University's 13th president not only has an elite academic pedigree that includes Princeton and Stanford, he's an innovator, inventor, and entrepreneur with 25 U.S. patents. He's also started three companies and was once named New Jersey CEO of the Year. And he has a definite vision for Indiana's land-grant institution. And I'm pleased to welcome Dr. Meng Chang to the studio for his first interview since taking the reins at Purdue University this week. And uh, President Chang, thanks for joining us. Hi, Gary. Great to be here. Yeah. Hey, um, uh, uh, President Chang, has is, is it sunk in Among, yet? Among, please. Among, okay. Has the, the president's title sunk in yet? Well, there's a lot of weight, and there's a lot of humbling honor associated with that. And uh, I'm here to serve uh, the great University of Purdue, boiler up uh, to, uh, uh, to all the Hoosiers to serve our wonderful state of Indiana and our uh, greatest country uh, in the history of human race, uh, United States. Well, I mentioned a little bit of your background, uniquely qualified uh, academic pedigree, inventor, entrepreneur, 25 U.S. patents, and that unique path as an immigrant from uh, America, fr from to America, from China, through Hong Kong. You grew up in multiple uh, environments, some that you would describe as harsh. Talk about your background and how that shapes who you are today. You know, I'm uh, proud and privileged to, to be an American. Uh, this truly is the greatest nation in human history. Uh, it is the best land for freedom and opportunity. And part of that is the public land grant university system here. Uh, so that adds to the weight of the honor for me to serve uh, Indiana's public land grant institution. Mm -hmm. As you look at uh, uh, your new role, and certainly Mitch Daniels, who uh, held this for the past decade uh, or, or so, uh, some big shoes to fill. But you, you two have worked very closely together in the last number of months. Talk about that transition. Well, you know, uh, I've been here in Indiana and at Purdue University for the past five and a half years uh, as the Dean of Engineering College at Purdue and then the EVP. Well, in between, I did take one year leave of absence to serve our country in the State Department. Mm -hmm. And also, I've been serving uh, on a pro bono basis as mm -hmm. our state's innovation and technology advisor. Uh, and I have to say that uh, Mitch Daniels, you said big shoes, well, incredibly large shoes. Mitch is the legend, and he is the transformational visionary that built Purdue into the what I would call the most consequential public university in our country. And he's the most innovative president in America. Uh, he has been also an incredible mentor to me. And over the past six months of seamless transition, mm -hmm. I got to learn even more closely from Mitch. Yeah, let's talk about your vision and a couple of things in particular. Uh, one is the new IUPUI, if you will. Uh, Indiana University, Purdue University is still going to be very uh, prominent there, obviously. What do you foresee, what do you envision Purdue's role in Indianapolis as being? Well, as IUPUI splits and there's going to be the Purdue in Indy, Purdue in Indy is a campus, but it's not a regional campus. It is integral part of Purdue's core main campus, uh, West Lafayette and in Indy. And our hope is very simple, that Purdue is going to invest in, partners with, and grow the Indianapolis tech scene. Now, we want more jobs. We want more knowledge. We want more talent and workforce. And all of those working together at a scale with the quality that is second to none anywhere in this country. And I know that there are urban opportunities. There's opportunity to graduate thousands more of STEM talents for our capital city. And there's the opportunity to partner with startups and large companies, today's and future large companies, who is going to come here and call Indianapolis their home. And then there is this book ending, the Heart Tech Corridor in central Indiana, from downtown Indianapolis all the way through Lebanon uh, to West Lafayette. Yeah. So you see a, a, a real physical uh, a corridor uh, extending, as you say, from West Lafayette through Lebanon, that Leap Technology mm -hmm. and Innovation Park 
to downtown Indianapolis? Well, if you believe a Google map measurement, it is about 63 miles. It's a straight line and it's going to be a hard tech corridor, hard tech as in technology that you can touch. It could be semiconductors, it could be ag biopharma manufacturing, it could be uh, transportation, logistics, and aerospace. These hard tech pillars of technology is going to drive economic growth and job creation. And Purdue is going to be an integral part of this, walking alongside all the business partners. And this 63 mile stretch, including Governor Hogan and Secretary Chambers, visionary lead districts in Lebanon, right in the middle of this stretch, is going to redefine not only our state, but the whole Midwest. All right, we have much more with uh, President Meng Chang. And for an extended conversation with President Chang, go to Inside Indiana Business.